Welcome to my basement. In uh, this episode we will uh, have a look at how difficult it can be to build your own devices. So, another package from uh, the UK this time. And as a person that has collected the stamps, it's uh, nice to get packages that still use that. Okay, so I have bought a kit from You Make Robots. Uh, this is a Castuino, it's a Max Duino, and it's a TZX Duino. The build is the same for uh, all of them, but uh, you can load the different software. And uh, as you know, I need some way to play CAS files uh, reliably. So this uh, will be able to load uh, CAS files or software, cassette software, to both my uh, TRS-80 color computer and uh, my... MSX machines. So as you can see the thing is completed and I have uh, loaded the software on the Arduino as you probably saw and yeah put in an SD card FAT32 formatted and put on one cassette game. And it's uh, starting up. Nice. So yeah, not uh, sure what happened. I think I got video with working. But after a while the Arduino stopped working. I'm not sure what happened. I tried to flash it again and it doesn't seem to work at all. The power lights come on, but uh, there is no activity. So I think it's fried. That's for sure, and I also think looking at the pictures that I'm not supposed to solder this to the bottom. So yeah, what's next? I have to desolder this one, uh, which will be a pain. So yeah, a week after the incident I finally got something in the mail. Yeah, as you can see, I ordered some spares in case I mess it up again. Uh, so yeah, this is an Arduino Nano, but it is a later model than what uh, was uh, with the kit that I bought online. This is a version 3 with a USB-C connector. I managed to install the new Arduino Nano. Uh, then I tried the program to upload the Castuino software, but uh, the program uh, supplied that did not work for this uh, Nano version. So I had to find the source code and uh, using Arduino Studio and selecting that the board was on. Arduino Nano, I was uh, able to compile and upload the code. When you compile the code yourself, you have to go into the header file and specify that you're using the OLED screen or whatever screen you're using. And you also have to download three dependencies, I think it was. One is uh, to support this SD card uh, breakout board, uh, one is to support uh, the screen and the third one was some kind of timer uh, library. The timer library was easy, it was just the first hit when you search for yeah, the dependencies in Arduino Studio. Uh, the screen uh, uh, is called Liquid Crystal i2c the library i mean 
and the library for the SD card the module is called SD fat but you can't install the version 2 or above that because uh, it has uh, changed the interface and the code will not compile uh, but you can use the latest uh, version 1 of that uh, library so once that uh, was fixed I uploaded the code and uh, it uh, actually worked so let's uh, put it back into the shell and uh, yeah see if we can have some fun finally okay so we hooked everything up it's uh, definitely not stable it keeps uh, crashing if you leave it alone for some time it uh, yeah becomes unresponsive uh, you can reset it And sometimes it crashes on boot, but uh, sometimes it was okay. Uh, not sure if it's the software or some library issue or whatever. Let's power on the MSX and see if uh, it survives that at least. Okay, so run. Pass should be the thing. We press play. You will see that it's paused, waiting for the remote signal. And it got the signal and is playing the cassette. It found something, which I guess is good. We're loading. Yeah, then the software crashed and it stopped loading. Hmm, could this be the solution? So this rescue package is from Santoro Vincenzo. Yeah, it's a brand new Castuino from eBay, delivered in the nick of time, uh, fully assembled because uh, it was cheaper than buying the kit. Uh, so yeah, let's see if uh, this one can push through the minute mark when my Castuino died, and this time I will test it before I spend the time constructing a case for it. So I've uh, hooked up my Italian uh, Castuino uh, or Maxduino, uh, it's running. So uh, yeah, it uh, is at least stable, it doesn't crash all the time like uh, mine did. So I'm uh, hopeful that we will get a different result this time. So yeah, that's uh, probably not what we want to see, device input output error. Okay, so we found something. So yeah, the game actually loaded, I'm not sure why I don't have any sound, but uh, I'll try another game shortly. Uh, yeah, uh, looking at the MSX uh, wiki site, I think uh, 
3600 boards is uh, about the max a uh, MSX machine can handle. So uh, the reason it failed on the first load was that the setting was too high. And also 3600 is on the edge of what the machine can handle, I think. But it worked. So yeah, nice. I uh, guess this uh, Italian dude is a better tinkerer than I am. So yeah, pretty happy with my new Max Duino. Uh, hopefully it still works. I even got room for the capacitor. Uh, the dude that made it had uh, glued it uh, to the board. So yeah, I don't want to break that. So I just uh, cut a hole in the cover instead. Let's uh, hook it up uh, again and see if it uh, still works. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with uh, how it looks. Uh, the problem is that uh, it does not work. Uh, as you saw, it worked before I put it into the case. I was able to load a game, uh, James Bond 007 on my MSX machine, but uh, now I'm unable to load any game on my MSX using the Max Duino. Off camera I have tested the cable, I have disassembled the entire machine to see if the solder points on the cassette deck connector was broken. Uh, but yeah, everything is looking good and we have the continuity where we should have it but uh, i'm unable to load games on it so i'm not sure what's going on i spent uh, two <laughs> weeks on this project first i blew up uh, one of the arduinos and then i got a replacement and that did not work then i got a real replacement uh, and uh, it's not working with my msx either uh, but I'm starting to think that it might be something with my MSX uh, because when I try to load real tapes from a real cassette uh, deck uh, it worked the first time and then uh, it suddenly stopped working. Uh, so yeah, it's not very stable at least. And uh, this is the problem with old hardware. Uh, you never know what's uh, not working. For the MSX that's not a huge issue however because I can use my mapper to load cassette games or CAS files. I don't need the Max Duino. So why did I build it? I need it for my TRS-80 because I don't have any way to load software on that machine. So let's uh, hook up the TRS-80 and see if uh, this works or not. So yeah, I have hooked up my Max Duino and I have hooked up the Coco to my telly. Let's try to turn it on first of all. So slightly out of tune. Command to load uh, cassette games on the TRS-80 is C load for basic programs and C load M for machine language programs, I think. Let's uh, try C load first. And what we are trying to load today is uh, a day at the races.
<laughs> it it actually loaded. It was uh, okay, so it was a bit easier to debug on the TRS-80. There's uh, something wrong with this connector, although I tested continuity. Uh, when I wiggled it, I saw that it started to blink here, and then it failed loading. Yeah, nice! Let's uh, bring you in closer and see if we can uh, go to the races together. There we go, I and mean, my horse is last. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably. Okay, I'm picking up speed. I think I'm in the lead, actually. Yes! Finally something works, and apparently I won $300. It's uh, been uh, quite the journey. Firstly I broke the TZX Duino by soldering in some wires where they never should be, but not only that, I designed and uh, printed a case for it without testing the equipment itself first. Then I tried to replace the fried Arduino with a new one, but uh, the solution was not stable anymore and the software crashed every 30 seconds. And to be frank, at that point I was pretty fed up with this uh, project, so I pulled what I call a 005 Agima, which is uh, when uh, Chris uh, figures out that uh, some of his equipment is broken and uh, just buys a replacement instead of trying to fix it himself. And uh, to be honest, that was uh, exactly the solution I needed at that point. Then after another week, I got a new uh, Castuino or Maxduino flown in from Italy. And uh, yeah, it uh, turns out that uh, this one also has uh, issues. I actually saw that right away when I tested it, uh, but uh, somehow forgot before I started to test it on the real hardware, the MSX machine. So <laughs> I wasted another evening trying to load cassette games and not focusing on the issue, which was the audio jack all the way. But finally I managed to load a day at the races on my TRS color computer and not only that, I still remember that uh, you should bet on horse number 3 for the first round. The project started in August and ended in September, just in time for Septandy I guess. If you like uh, problems like this, please be sure to like and subscribe and I do hope to see you all next time.